Okay, today I'm showing you Pages and Keynote. Pages is very comparable to Microsoft Word and Keynote is very similar to PowerPoint. So let's look at Pages first. When you log in the first time, you might get a welcome screen that you need to hit continue on, but then soon you should get to a place where you have the plus sign or the option to tap and create a new document. Once you get here, you have um, templates to choose from, which is really nice. <clears throat> Notice they are broken down by categories. And if you kind of want to skip to a category very quickly, you can choose two in the top right hand corner. I'm just going to choose a basic blank one today. And you will see that it brings me to a screen um, with a word processor. You can type um, with your keyboard here. Notice you have some kind of formatting features like tab and your font choice, um, the font size, bold print, and so forth. This button down here on the bottom will kind of exit out of your keyboard if you need to. And you have these same features that you're going to see reappearing in all of your iWorks apps. So the format, the add button to add other media in, the share button, and then your settings um, option. So I'm just going to click on my text down here and then my format button. And you'll see I have some options. So in my style, again, I can change that font. I can change the color, the size, bold print it, where it's centered, um, and so forth. I can also choose the list and the bullet points as well as my layout. So if I need columns or spacing. The add button will let me add different kinds of media. So this first box are your tables and you can scroll through those to see the different options. Your graphs. You have interactive, 2D, and 3D. Um, 2D and 3D will appear much like what you are used to. Interactive will actually allow you to show change over time and data um, kind of growing or shrinking. This is your shape tool. You can swipe for different colors. And then to add your photos, you can um, add your photos from your camera roll. You can take a video. Um, you can sync like your cloud with it so you can get your cloud photos and um, also it will partner with compatible apps if you have these on your iPad so and there are several others this is the share button so I can send a copy out or open it in another app and before I open it in another app it will actually let me select the format which is nice and then you have your settings so if you want to search for words or send it to print change the settings and so forth I'm actually going to um, set a shape really quickly to show you a couple things. Notice by default that when I move my shape, a word's moving with it. That goes back to my formatting. So I want to change that. So I'm going to click my shape. Then I'm going to click my format button. And now it's going to let me format my shape. So style options. I can add a shadow, a reflection. I can change how transparent it is. I can give it a border. I just turn that on right there. And then I have some options. I can um, fill it with different colors and so forth. If I um, click off of that, if I click on my shape, I can also um, arrange it to move it front to back. I can choose the way it wraps around the text. So if I don't want it to wrap around or move, I have all of these different options. I choose none now I have to you know kind of center it myself and I can again change these front to back so if I want my text on top of it um, I can also if I click in the shape notice that it lets me directly start typing in it and you have a lot of options here if you choose to hit your documents button up here it's going to take you back to all the documents that you have so kind of like a desktop I'm going to actually start a new document and choose a template just to kind of show you what it looks like and so this is a sample template and you can see that um, basically it's just giving me what it looks like as a sample and then when I click I can delete out anything that they have and put in my information. The little plus signs will let me access my photos to switch out their photos and um, that's basically all you need to know about pages to get started.